Hello, if you're a regular viewer, welcome back. If this is the first time you've been with us, welcome. What we do is each week we make videos that are based on the Bible, teach them as a Bible truth. We've been studying a series that we've entitled Sound Doctrine. We've noticed that the Bible, specifically the New Testament, gives us today a pattern for us to follow. This week we're going to have a look at how it gives us a pattern to live our daily lives. And our study for today comes from the book of Galatians chapter 5. Notice what we read there in verse 16. But I say walk by the Spirit and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. Here the apostle gives us a contrast between walking in the ways of God and walking in the ways of the devil. And he talks about it in terms of walking according to the Spirit or flesh. Now walking according to the Spirit is not just some sort of mystical type of walk, but it's walking according to the Word of God. Notice what we read in Ephesians 6 and verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit which is the Word of God. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. So when we walk according to the Spirit, we walk according to the work of God. Now, Paul continues on in Galatians 5, verses 17 and 18. For the flesh sets its desire against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. For these are in opposition to one another, so that you may not do the things you please. But if you were led by the Spirit, you were not under the law. We see the contrast here. The flesh sets its desire against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. By following the flesh, we don't do the things that we want to do. We do the follow our fleshly desires. And notice what happens in, in verse 19. But if you were led by the Spirit, you were not under the law. Verse 18. Verse 19 now. Now the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, envy and drunkenness, carousing, and things like these, of which I forewarned you, just as I have forewarned you that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now we could go into a great deal of detail about all of these deeds of the flesh, the immorality, impurity, outbursts of anger, drunkenness, carousing. We could talk about those. But what we notice as a group, when we're involved in those, if we practice such things, we will not inherit the kingdom of God. And so those are the deeds of the flesh. Now we go on to the fruit of the Spirit, verses 22 to 24. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. For those who belong to Christ have crucified the flesh with its evil desires and passions. Now, what a contrast this is. The deeds of the flesh are filled with wickedness, but the fruit of the Spirit, now that is the fruit which by walking in the Spirit are produced. When we follow the Bible teachings, we live in love, joy, and peace, patience. Who wouldn't want to live like that? Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. <laughs> no wonder we read against such things there is no law. Now, verse 25. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk according to the Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, we baptized into Christ. Nicodemus was told in, uh, uh, in John chapter 3 that we must be born again, born of the water and the Spirit. When we walk according to the Spirit, which is found in the Word of God, you see, we have life, eternal life. So let us walk according to the Spirit. Let us walk, in a, walk according 
to the teachings of the New Testament. Well, that's our time for today. Thank you once again for joining us. And as always, we're very happy to receive your questions or comments. Please put them down below and we'll get right back to you. Thank you and goodbye for now.